And one last note on dating uh, that I wanted to bring up with you guys. There was an interesting article in the New York Times a year or two ago. The article was uh, called The 36 Questions That Lead to Love. And this was a very interesting thought experiment. So the, the psychologist Arthur Aron explored whether intimacy between two strangers could be accelerated by having them ask each other a specific series of personal questions. So there's 36 questions in the study, and they're broken up into three sets. And each set is intended to be more intense, more probing than the previous set, if that makes sense. The idea that this psychologist Aron uh, had was that mutual vulnerability fosters closeness. So allowing someone to be vulnerable with another person can be difficult. This exercise kind of forces the issue and accelerates the getting to know you process. Um, so essentially you and you know an, a guy or a girl will sit together for a few hours and you'll go through these 36 questions. Um, and again, there's three sets. Let me just let me hit you with a couple of these um, just so you know what I'm talking about. So like in set one, you would ask them, uh, given the choice of anyone in the world, whom would you want as a dinner a dinner guest? When did you last sing to yourself? When did you last sing to someone else? Do you have a secret hunch about how you will die? So that's set one. Set two, getting more intense. Um, what is your most treasured memory? What is your most terrible memory? What roles do love and affection play in your life? Is there something you've dreamed of doing for a long time? Why haven't you done it? And then set three, the most intense questions. When did you last cry in front of another person? Tell your partner something that you like about them already. If you were to die this evening with no opportunity to communicate with anyone, what would you most regret not having told someone? Why haven't you told them yet? Of all the people in your family, whose death would you find most disturbing and why? So these are heavy, heavy questions. And broken up into three sets, set one, set two, set three, increasingly difficult. So you ask the person over a few hours uh, all the questions from the sets. And then at the end of these 36 questions, guys, you have to stare into the other person's eyes for four minutes. Just completely silent, can't look away, just looking into someone else's eyes for 240 long, excruciating seconds. So Aaron actually implemented this study. Um, and you can read about it more um, on the, the New York Times, uh, on the website, the 36 questions that lead to, lead to love. Um, I'm going to place the, the link in the details section, but it's definitely something to think about. I'm not sure if you should actually implement, <laughs> if you should give this a try. Uh, it can be overwhelming. That is all I will say. Um, <laughs> I, I may have attempted this with someone before just in the spirit of experimentation. I am an adventurer. I am you know, someone who I like to think I'm open-minded. I'll try new things. So I might've done this before. I have a friend who might've done this before. Let's just say in all cases, neither of us were able to complete the 36 questions. And in both cases, it got very weird very quickly and did not end well. But in the spirit of leaning into the discomfort, like I always say, I gave it a shot.